Hello there guys, it's Joey, and this is going to be a mini crystal haul and a kind of little chat uh, following Samhain. I had a few days off just to have some personal time and take some time off and just chill and enjoy Samhain obviously and I decided today to grab myself a few crystally bits from my local holistic place. It, it's kind of the, the, the lull after Samhain is kind of a downer <laughs> and we are going forward we're going to be doing a lot of introspective work I say we, <laughs> me and myself and the foxes um, <laughs> me, and the, me and the gods <laughs> me and the triple morrigan and I wanted, I wanted one thing in particular which I, I will show you in a minute and I managed to get one and I was really pleased but seeing as we're going into the dark half of the year and Samhain is over for another year and all that sort of thing I really felt that I wanted a few more crystals I do tend to collect crystals um, I think crystals are the thing I collect more than anything else but I do really like working with them and I really like supporting my local pagan, they're not pagan really, although they're a holistic place but they sell crystals and bits and pieces as well. And I think it's really important to try and do it wherever you can support that sort of local business because otherwise they just disappear. And I don't like ordering crystals online as much. I will do it in a couple of circumstances. One, if they're one-off pieces. Uh, Crystal Age do some beautiful one-off pieces and you know exactly what you're getting to, at least visually and then for like tumble stones when they're a good deal for for packs of tumble stones uh, because tumble stones aren't so important as, as sort of rough pieces and really getting your hands on them and things like that so I want to sort of focus on crystal healing quite a bit going forward in my own personal work. I, I, I think that's a, an area I'm going to study around more going forward. That's not to say I'm not going to embrace everything else. I'm still embracing my path with divination in terms of ogum and tarot and, and things of that nature and then the Celtic path and I'm still embracing all of that. But I was thinking what I would really like to research and really practice a bit more is the crystal healing. So the first piece is selenite and this is actually from the second hand bit. Someone brought this back. Uh, I always feel awful for crystals that someone has like rejected and brought back. Um, although I didn't realise this was one of them originally and my partner was staring at it and I picked it up and had a look at it and it's actually a really nice piece of selenite. And so because it was second hand it's quite a large piece. There's my, there's my hand. You see, it's kind of, like, or it's kind of, yeah, palm size, a bit bigger than my palm. And so that it was only a couple of pounds because of that, because it was um, second pa second hand. Although satellite isn't hugely expensive anyway, but. I really really liked it and I, I want to work more with a few pieces of salmon. I'd actually quite like at least another one this rough piece this size and flat or maybe four so I can sort of grid with it or put them in the corners and things like that. Let's have a look at some of the meanings. <clears throat> Calm stone that helps instill the inner peace and is excellent for meditation or spiritual work. Telepathy is enhanced by each person holding a piece of pure vibration selenite. Can be used to form a protective grid around a house, creating a safe and quiet space that does not allow outside influences in. Use internally in the four corners of the house. A large piece of selenite placed in the house ensures a peaceful atmosphere. Oh, excuse me. Selenite ones can be used to detach entities from the aura or for preventing anything external from influencing the mind. 
Assists judgment and insight, close confusion, aids in seeing the bigger picture. Powerful disperser and stabiliser for erratic emotions. So this is one that I just kind of saw and was like, I kind of, I kind of want that. <laughs> just one of those. I quite frequently do just choose on um, instinct, and if I'm going with tumble stones, I decided not to go with tumble stones today. Well, one's kind of a tumble stone. It's a bit bigger than an average tumble stone. And this was the first one. Right, so then the other one I chose on instinct, and I'm sorry it's a bit gloomy in here today, it's ever so grey today, which is fantastic really because it's been way too warm. 21 degrees here on Halloween, I was like, oh, blah. oh. right, we think this is bronzite. Uh, we weren't 100% sure because I initially thought it might be tiger iron, but the lady in the shop was pretty sure it's bronzite. I really love the shape. It kind of reminds me of a spearhead or perhaps even sort of crow beak. Crow beak. They've been everywhere today as well. It's fantastic because I go out without my camera, of course. And you can make out the detail. Isn't that fantastic? See how it has these these tiny sort of... It almost looks like a side of a hedgehog here with these sort of, sort of little spines. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that great? I think that's beautiful. It's not Ocean and Jasper because that was another thought I had. But we're pretty sure it's bronzite. Helps bring total serenity. Marketed as effective against curses and sold as a magical protector. Bronzite turns back negative thoughts and ill wishing. However, it returns ill-wishing curses or spells back to the source, considerably magnified. The most effective way to use bronzite is to use it for this purpose, is to use it in combination with black tourmaline as this absorbs the ill-wishing, immediately stopping the interaction and taking all attention away from the source. Protective, grounding, helpful when you feel powerless, ba -ba -ba. It increases self-assertion, restores composure and insists in keeping a cool head. So there you go. I, again this was one that just kind of spoke to me, the, sh the shape of it, the sort of colours interweaving through it were interesting. It's almost got its own story going on. It's it's really interesting and there's kind of a face here. <laughs> like a earthy elemental face. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Okay, and then we get back to the final three are all the same crystal and it is of course Labradorite. Right. It's gonna be so gloomy in here that if we get much of a shimmer off these I'll be surprised. The focus isn't helping you though. There we go. Okay, this one is a quite dark one. It did have a shimmer on it. I just don't think we're gonna. I'll have a look over here, see if I can see it. It's on the corner. Okay. <clears throat> the pieces today were a little bit disappointing in, in store, and but although there is a story there. Okay, the shimmer is there. <laughs> on the corner. So the this piece, this is another reason why I think working and going into a local place is amazing because the lady actually in the shop had a few pieces of Labradorite put back for herself and she offered me this one and I was like are you sure because I felt kind of terrible but uh, she had a few taken back that she wanted so she said you know this this one was for me so, and it is, please focus, it's a lovely shape and there are a lot of sh small shimmers through and it's almost bubble-like, uh, look at that one, that one's beautiful, there are 
it is lots of little sh shimmery pieces, which is unusual. Uh, that's there. There you see. Beautiful. And before I show you the last bit, which is what I actually went in looking for, we'll actually touch again on the meanings of Labradorite. From the Crystal Bible, of course. Highly mystical and protective, a bringer of light, raises consciousness and connects with universal energies, deflects unwanted energies from the aura, prevents aura leakage. Leakage? <laughs> Whatever leakage is, it prevents it. It forms a barrier to negative energies, can take you into another world, other lives. Stone of his historic knowledge facilitates initiation into the mysteries. Aligns the physical and etheric bodies, accessing spiritual purpose, raises consciousness and grounds spiritual energies into the physical body. Stimulates intuition and psychic gifts, including the art of right timing, bringing messages to the unconscious mind, from the unconscious mind, sorry, to the surface, and facilitates the understanding of them. Banishes fear, banishes insecurity and psychic debris from previous disappointments, including past lives. Strengthens faith in the self, trust in the universe. It removes other people's projections, including thought forms that may have hooked into the aura. Calms an overactive mind, energizes the emo uh, imagination, bringing up new ideas. Uh, it does everything. <laughs> Stone of Transformation. It is my baby. I was actually talking to the lady in the shop because the lady in the shop said that Labradorite is her favourite and if she had to work with one crystal for the rest of her life, if she had to give up every other crystal but one, she would keep Labradorite and I was like, me too. <laughs> because that, that this would be the only, if I had to give everything else up I would cry but, uh, but one, Labradorite is the one I would keep. So, the final thing that I picked up. Now to my understanding this one doesn't have much of, or any of the sh shimmer and it may, it, well, it probably won't be the last one I get. Ba -ba -ba. So this is a Labradorite wand and if I move it, oh there's a slight shimmer on the edge and here Oh, there is a slight shimmer as we're walking through. It's not as there. There's slight one, slight one there. Here. Now, at some point, I want one of the longer ones. You know that you can get a longer Labradorite one, the sort of more rounded ones. I definitely want one of those at some point. But I haven't seen them in the shop yet. And if I have to buy them online, I know it's going to be risk of disappointment. I might see if I can request one <laughs> from, or ask them to order them in or something. But I basically really wanted a Labradorite wand, uh, a crystal wand, for the purpose of going forward with healing work. I was actually reading a really simple way that you can use crystal wands for when you've got particular chakras that are blocked or for particular instances of, of say pain or problems in, in certain areas and that is that let's see if I can do, show you with my hand right so say this is the, the, the pr problem you're having you point the you hold it up to the chakra or problem area and you point it away and you visualize the labradorite pulling all the negative energy out and they're going out of the point and it transforming. It didn't really talk about the transforming bit, but that's kind of my understanding. Because Labradorite harbors no negative energy, you can't use it for negative purposes. It seems to be the perfect healing crystal for this purpose because it would draw out and transform energy. It would, you know, pull out anything that was blocking your chakras or causing you energy problems and imbalance and it would draw all that out and transform it really beautifully within itself because it is that crystal of transformation. Excuse me. 
And then when you have drawn out your negative energy, you flip it and you pull universal energy, spirit, energy from spirit, energy from the divine, energy from the universe to heal and you point it at the area and draw it in through the point into yourself and work with healing energy in that, that respect. There are actually some really nice uh, crystal wand methods in the second crystal bible. And it talks about using them in conjunction with stones. Let's see if you can, oh goodness, you see how you use the points of your body with a stone, like the, the pentagram, and you use a crystal wand to connect them, or the figure eight, which I really, really like in terms of healing. And I have crystal wands, which I use for different purposes, um, and I have a rose quartz one. I, I have two rose quartz ones, I have a little rose quartz and a big rose quartz, which I love. Uh, but they're kind of, they're gentle. And in terms of healing energy, while sometimes you do want healing, sometimes you need something really going to shift that negative. It's just going to get rid of it, get rid of that negative energy, transform it and really help bring you back to yourself, really transform. And I think Labradorite is really the way to go for that. So there's not too many shinies in this, but I really liked... I really liked how it was a bit darker. The other one they had in the store was it had a bit more of a shine, but it was it was really light, and I really really preferred the slightly darker tip. So it is a small one, and I do want a bigger one. <laughs> but um, yeah, I really really wanted one, and now I have one. So even if I can't afford crystals for a while, I can be happy and play with my Labradorite some more. Woohoo! <laughs> so that's it for this little video. Um, hopefully I'll have some more business as usual type videos soon. Many blessings.